Suzuki makes cars? They used to, and that right there is a 2013 Suzuki Grand Vitara with 73,000 miles, and that is our latest flipping $400 into a Ferrari car. Last week I was at a dealer only auction with $4,500 and I couldn't find anything. I mean, I was stressed and I was struggling and I was working twice as hard as I ever had to find anything that was reasonably affordable. And I stumbled across this thing and I probably overpaid for it. Again, it's a 2013 with 73,000 miles. And as you can see, it is in rough condition. But that's what we do. We bring these things back to life. We fix them. We clean them. We repair them. And then we sell them for a profit. And in today's video, we're going to bring this thing, this ugly old thing with rust and nasty wheels and all kinds of nastiness back to life and see if we can sell it for a profit so we can keep the Ferrari flip going. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get started. <laughs> So hey everyone, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels and welcome to my Flying Wheels YouTube channel. What you see here are just a bunch of cars. We like to have fun with some fun stuff and some nice stuff and then some even nicer stuff, some trucks. But realistically, the cheap stuff is what makes the money. And I hate selling cheap cars. If you watch my videos, you know I hate selling cheap cars. Today's video is about a semi inexpensive car, a pretty affordable car as a matter of fact. It has nothing to do with the Aston Martin there or the Bentley right there. But what it is, is part of our $400 into a flip series starting with four hundred dollars buying a ferrari eventually and we already have a bentley continental gt we have a toyota tundra and now we have a suzuki grand Vitara that uh, what? we spent four thousand five hundred dollars on at the auction last week today's video i'm super excited to teach you all of my tips all of my tricks, how we're gonna bring this car back to life, what we need to do to it to make it sellable, and then how much money we're gonna make off it at the end, and we can keep snowballing our money until we're actually really, really close to a Ferrari. On top of that, we're gonna do a giveaway. I love giving away stuff. From time to time, we have brand sponsors for our videos. Into the AM, awesome clothing company, sent me a bunch of stuff that we're gonna give away to you guys. I'll explain that later. And then also, I'm gonna teach you how I started my car dealership in small detail. If you ever wanna learn how to learn more, like really start your own car dealership, get your license, go to auctions, startyourdealership.com, make sure to check that out. If you don't want your own dealership, maybe you just wanna flip cars on the side, car flipping 101. Check those out, enough with the plugs. Today's a fun, fun video. Let's get into the Suzuki Grand Vitara and flipping $400 into a Ferrari. And ready for the reveal of our next Ferrari flip is going to be this right here. The Suzuki Grand Vitara, that is a hell of a project car. I don't know what I'm getting myself into with this one. Suzuki isn't even made anymore, but I can bring this thing back to life. It's a four by four. We're in New England, we need four by fours. It has 72,000 miles. So this car might actually be a winner. Let's check it out. Slow start, does the check engine light go off? Uh, check engine lights on. Has an aftermarket radio. Ooh, sunglasses. Cheapies, too bad. And an extra set of tires and wheels. Extra set of tires and wheels. We'll see if it drives. Let's see what I paid for it first. Suzuki, I paid $4,040 with the auction fees. So I'm under budget. I have about $500 to put into this car and repairs to get to my budget. The next day. Or let's see what a piece of junk this thing actually is. So we have some pretty nasty wheels on it but these are snow tires check this out i opened up the back door please be unlocked yes i hate locked doors. no more locked doors what movie? wheels tires with great tread when i bought this thing i didn't even know it had the original wheels that alone is gonna be night and day once they're installed on this vehicle we have a little bit of rust right here now we're in new england we get salt on the roads that is normal we can fix that and we're going to it's also a car purchased after winter that's been driven all winter long. So it's just kind of dirty looking. But what I'm good at is seeing through the dirt. I bought a nasty house and we're bringing that back to life. If you've seen my flipping houses series, wah, wah, wah. I buy cars that look like this and I make them look like gold when we're done. And this is gonna be one of those cars. So I really want you to take a look as I walk around this car to see what it looks like now versus what it's gonna look like when we do the transition at the end of the video. You can see we have a little bit of rust right here as well. 
Let's open up the trunk. I have a little bit right there too. Yep, there's the other two wheels. We have the original floor mats, which is awesome, which might mean that the carpets are in pretty good shape. We have a like all season floor mat under there, so that carpet should be in pretty good shape. This door shuts well, that strut holds it open, so that's a good sign. Does it have an inspection sticker on it? It does not, it does. So it has a December Vermont inspection sticker. There's no year on it, expires 2022. So we actually have an inspection sticker till December of this year, which means it just recently passed inspection in Vermont this past December, so just a couple months ago, which is really good for me. Carpets, fair, you can see the salt, so we're gonna try to get the salt out of here. What's really cool about this series is it's showing you things that I wasn't even anticipating. I mean, originally it was supposed to be just one single car. I was gonna buy one car and then just keep building it up and growing it and growing it and growing it. Well, I did up into a Bentley Continental GT. I had a little bit of extra money left over from the Bentley purchase and I bought two more cars. And I've just been kind of piggybacking those two cars. And what's been working well for me so far is having two cars. That way I can have one for sale and then I can buy one and clean it and fix it and put that up for sale. And then the Toyota Tundra can sell and I can use that money to buy the car and roll over to this one. So it's working really well. I'm kind of just flip-flopping the two. I think we had a check engine light on. Let's start it up. I love that it has an aftermarket radio. Hopefully that's Bluetooth too. System check. What? I know for sure when I bought this car at the auction yesterday, the check engine light was on and it is not on anymore. That is... Amazing. I have about $1,600 left in surplus in our flipping 400 series. So I have $1,600 to put into this car. Now, I don't want to just go and throw $1,600 into this because the more I spend doesn't make it worth more. We just want to make sure it's safe, it's reliable, it's clean, and it's inspectable. And from there, we can keep as much money as we can. We don't want to just throw money at a car and hope to get it back. Let's take it for a ride real quick. Now, the great thing is it only has 72,000 miles, which is going to be a really easy sale for me. All I have to do is market it with low miles and someone's going to love a four by four compact SUV with low miles. I mean, it's so hard to find compact SUVs in general right now, which is why I spent probably double what I normally would have at the auction. All right, we're at my shop. We're going to pull it in on the lift and do a full state inspection on it, see what it needs and put these wheels on, which will instantly make a better difference. Giveaway time. Anytime somebody gives me a product, I like to try it out and then I'm going to forward it along. So I'm going to give this to somebody. At the end of the video, we'll do some stuff. We have some t-shirts. We have some hoodies. It's pretty cool. I'm going to wear this. And if I like it, I'm not giving it away. Sorry. But if it's too big, I am. Anyway, we have hoodies, t-shirts, and a jacket. If you guys want this stuff, I'll send it to you. Into the AM proudly sponsored this video. And I'm going to forward it over to you guys by doing three things. Number one, you have to like this video. You have to subscribe to our channel as number two. And number three, in the comments section, write into the AM. I have like three to five things to give away. So three to five people are gonna win something. Into the AM, let's try this stuff out and go work on the car. Hey Dave, yeah. you want one? Only one problem. I only got it on a medium. <laughs> Come on. Oh, heck yeah. Super soft fabric shirts. They come in other sizes. As a matter of fact, they come in all shapes and sizes. This is their other basic tee. So Into the AM is obviously our sponsor for the video. So thank you so much, Into the AM. If you've been watching our channel, you know we have a videographer now and an editor. We're doing it all thanks to companies like Into the AM. So make sure to support our channel by supporting these guys. Thanks a lot, Into the AM. I like that. Yeah, thanks. That was actually genuine. I'm going to wear this. Let's get to work. Grand Vitara, our $400 Ferrari flip, come check this out. Wheels made all the difference. I knew that was gonna happen. We changed the wheels out. These came with the car. We did, come right in here. We did a full state inspection on it. It needed brake pads, rotors, and a caliper on the other side. We bled the brakes. So it is now safe for the road, safe to sell. We just have to take care of this stuff now. And actually, see how glossy this is? You see that right there? That is how clean the paint is coming out on this car. I'm pumped about it, and I saw through the ugly. The only thing is, German had to go because some family stuff. So now it's on me to finish buffing this car, and he's more of a magician with this stuff than I am. So I am going to try. All right, car, bend over. Let's get this going. Actually, 
You can see German already started buffing this. He does it completely different than I do. When I started this car, I used a polisher, not a buffer. I would wash the car, then use like a cleaner wax on it. He goes right over the dirt, which to me doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know, you guys vote. Is it better to wash the car and then buff it? Or is it better to buff it dirty? All right, let's see if I can do what German does. Smiley. If anybody gets that movie reference, I'll be amazed. If I just spin this thing right over the wax, it's gonna shoot it everywhere. So what I wanna do first, I'm gonna just spread it on nice and good like. Then, I saw how far it spreads. I can start following it. Turn the speed down a little bit. I'm going to have to use the edge of the polisher, I want to use the center of the polisher. Alright, let's see how I did. Wax on, wax off. We won't really know until I put it in the sunlight. Let's see if I left any swirl marks. Now you don't want to buff a car in the sunlight, especially a black car. So if you can find a garage or do it on a shady day, that's best. I don't know, what do you think? I think I did okay. Mediocre or better? Now you can polish glass too, so if you want to polish the glass, it leaves like a nice coating for rain so it feeds up. You can also put a coating on your headlights too, it'll polish your headlights up. Foggy headlights, which we've done in other videos. Wet sand it with water and sandpaper, like 1,000, then 1,500 grit. Then you can use a wool pad and some rubbing compound, and it'll, it'll polish the headlights. So it'll get that like fog and, and haze out of your headlights. These were already pretty clear, so just a cleaner wax will give it a nice protective coating. This car actually has a metallic finish. I didn't even know it when I bought it. Done. Now's my favorite part. We get to pull it out, see it in the sun, and then wash the wheels. I love washing wheels and tires. For really bad wheels, I can use like a wheel acid, which I like to use, even though you don't want to get it on your skin, it'll, it'll burn your skin. But wheels like this, where it's just brake dust, just a wheel and tire cleaner works wonders. It goes really, really well. So I'm gonna spray this on. It should be turning brown at any second. Just a simple scrub brush. It's these dirty tires looking good again. So pumped with how this is coming out. I knew these wheels were gonna look good. I knew the paint was gonna come out well. The rust spots, Craig, why didn't you do the rust spots in the bodywork first? I wanted to see what we're working with. I wanted to get a feeling of satisfaction and then we can move on from there. So once the car is completely done, I can then work on the rust spots and, and then the car is really finished. I think someone went mudding with this car because when we put it up on the lift, there was minimal rust underneath, but everything was covered in dirt and you can see it all coming off. I wish I had an underwash power washer. It would work well right now. Look at the dirt just rushing off the bottom. I hear these Grand Vitars are actually great off-road vehicles. I 
kind of want to try it out, but I probably should have done it before cleaning it. I think my next investment is going to be an underside power washer. Yeah, there is metal flake in this paint. This is awesome. Interior is pretty good already. We'll just vacuum it, clean it up, wash the floor mats. But for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. The only thing I've said time and time again, our mechanic gets in the freaking car with his boots on. So that carpet didn't look like that when we bought it here. I know that Suzuki cars and Suzuki dirt bikes are the same. I just never really relate the two of them. But it's cool to see like Suzuki dirt bike emblems on car floor mats. Is that why this thing's so good off road? Is because it's a made by a dirt bike brand? This will be satisfying. Remember what that looks like now. Now let's shine the tires. Let's finish those up. And then look at the paint on the tailgate. This car is coming out so nice. Next is the interior and the rust spots. Then we done. I was mistaken. We still need to clean the engine. This should have been done before we even buff the car. Be careful. You don't want to soak everything on your engine, especially getting air in there. You don't want to do that. Let's dress the engine. It's going to make this look brand new. Now we're going to give it a wipe. Wipe it wipe, down. Wipe, wipe it down. Good. Wipe. People buy with their eyes. They're not going to look at the valve cover gasket, which isn't leaking, by the way. They're gonna look at the engine and go, wow, that's a clean engine. Hey, and just like that, look what's leaving. The Toyota Tundra is sold. Our Ferrari Flip Toyota Tundra has sold for $12,000. So that is amazing. Now we have $12,000 to go to the auction with. And we own a Bentley Continental GT, which I just did. Can you daily drive a Bentley Continental for two weeks? I will tell you, it was difficult to start but I fell in love with the car once again. I love this thing, but it's time to sell it. It's time to move on because we bought what? We bought an Aston Martin. I came back from a weekend off and German has actually done the repairs for the most part on the Suzuki. So I did just about everything but the rust repair, which he already took care of. He put some new metal in, he primed it. I'm gonna sand it down a little bit better and then we're gonna paint it. Like this can be taken care of a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that stuff and then we're done. Photographed, up for sale, video over get this thing listed, and then we can move on to some more Ferrari Flip projects. I don't like that. I gotta tape that one off. There we go. I didn't want to ruin good chrome by sanding over it. really cool is Chrysler has a color called PXR, really cool black metallic that looks almost identical to this, and I actually have it in a custom spray can. So after we prime it, we paint it black, I'm going to touch it up with some PXR from a Chrysler color, and I think it's going to match pretty well. <laughs> Do 
through that mirror right there. Watch this. Just like that, scratches and scuff marks are gone. Well, I have to say, I am, I think we outdid ourselves. I am impressed with this Suzuki. It is driving great, and it drives like a 72,000 mile car should, and it looks like a 72,000 mile car should. These are the ones that I say you have to look past the ugly, and I had a feeling this was gonna turn out right, and, and it, is way nicer than I had expected. I'm gonna park and I'm gonna show you how nice this car actually came out. Now, if you'll see behind me, the sun is setting over the crest of the trees. This is the best time to take pictures of black cars. If you look at it right now, like the lighting is perfect. Conditions are perfect for this car right now. So I'm gonna take some great, great photos of it. The way it looks, look at how nice it looks with the wheels on it. Oh my goodness, this car just turned out so much nicer than I expected. You can kind of see the metallic finish in the paint. And then the interior, like the carpets came out great, the floor mats came out great, the interior was already extremely clean. Look at how nice the seats are. It smells like, you know when you get a rental car, not a brand new car, like a rental car still kind of smells new, but it's not new, that's what this smells like. Like it smells like a good car, like a nice clean car that was just shampooed, 72,000 miles. Oh, nice! Even the tire pressure light just shut off, which was on before. So I'm gonna make some angles of it. I'm gonna take different pictures from different angles. That way the light is on the same corner that I'm taking photographs on. Oh man, this is the stuff that I love doing. A Suzuki, who would've thought a Suzuki would make me so happy? Yes, look at that. Oh my goodness, so nice. Now I own this car for under five grand, like with Whatever I did to it, brakes, battery, a couple other miscellaneous items that we had to do to it, plus our time, we own it for under $5,000. All right, Suzuki is up and finished. You can see right here, we have our window stickers on the window. It is looking great. Everything is finished on the car. I am so pleased with this. Look at this. Look at this blend. You don't even know it's there. The only one I'm not too happy with, which I knew it was gonna come out this way, was this spot. Not, not perfect, but this corner came out great. The wheels, look amazing and now we have it listed for eight thousand five hundred dollars which to be honest with you is really really not expensive at all it's very affordable for 2013 with 72,000 miles four cylinder four wheel drive if you think about it you couldn't buy a 13 crv or a 13 rav4 for even double that price it's worth so much more than that so i think there's a lot of bang for your buck in that car we're gonna make a good amount of money towards our ferrari flip series someone's gonna get a great car now because we've done a lot to it Three days later. Can I borrow you just for a second? Do you mind the camera? You know what these keys are? Yeah. I was I was gone this past weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Tell me how many people came to look at that car. At least three. At least three people? Some from like hours away showed up and I had the keys. I dropped the ball on that one. I'm sorry. I, I come down on everybody so hard when they do that, and I did it. Hey, nobody's perfect. Neither are you. Come on. So I went away this weekend. I accidentally took the keys. People showed up with cash to buy the car. They couldn't drive it, so none of them bought the car. That is completely my fault, and that's on the first weekend of listing it for sale. I dropped the ball on that one. Even though I dropped the ball with the keys on the Grand Matara, no more Toyota Tundra anywhere. We sold the Toyota Tundra for $12,000. That was an amazing profit on a great car that had a tremendous transformation because the way that thing came in and the way it left were two very different vehicles. And now we have a great amount of money to go buy something else at the auction and keep moving towards our Ferrari flip. You'll see I do still have the Bentley. Now that I had my two weeks of can you daily drive a Bentley, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Now that we've driven it and had fun and I have that thing now, I don't need the Bentley so much anymore. I don't need anything all-wheel drive. I'm gonna list it on cars and bids. We're gonna get it ready for sale. We're gonna put it on cars and bids, Doug DeMuro's uh, YouTube selling website like eBay. I'm gonna try it out because I've never used it before. You guys get to see the experience on that one and see if we can make a profit, see if we lose money. I'm just gonna, I'm ready to let it go. This Grand Vitara caught me by surprise and some upcoming videos I wanna show you. See that skyline behind me? We're actually gonna make some progress on it. 
And look what Germans work on. Remember that thing from the auction? We're working on that too. So the 350Z is coming up soon too. Hey, and once again, a special thanks to Into the AM. If you like the stuff we were wearing in this whole video, you can check out the link right down. Check out their inventory of clothing. And, and don't forget about the giveaway because we're going to give between like three and five shirts and hoodies away to some people at random by just commenting Into the AM in the comment section, liking and subscribing. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all later. I always appreciate you guys watching my content. Have a great day. Adios. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. If you click that circle right in the center, you can subscribe to our channel. Boxes to the left and to the right are for best recommended videos for you, including the Ferrari Flip playlist if you want to catch up on all of the Ferrari videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.